let's say take the second case one f of gx equals to 2gx plus 1 when this is done when x lies when gx lies between x to 2 right again similarly we will solve this case again okay now gx as you know is x square or it is x plus 2 okay that means it is either 2 or it is less than plus than 2 right now when is this x square when when is this x square when x lies between minus 1 to 2 and it is x plus 2 when x lies between 2 to 3. So, whatever solution I get from this and whatever solution I get from this, I need to take the intersection of this 2, I need to take the intersection of this 2. So, let us see. For the first case, I will get x lies between x lies between Let's go properly. From this case, I'll get x lies between you know minus root two to minus one, union of one comma root two. You can solve this. You can uh, solve this separately. You can take first x square less than equal to two. You can solve this in quality, and then again you can solve this quality. You can see the union of this two. Now. When I take the intersection of this two, I get x lies between what? 1, 2, root 2, right? So, this is what I got from the first case. So, now let us write f of gx x in this root first. Uh, this was x square, right? gfx is this. Now, f of gf of x is what? It is 2gx plus 1. So, I will write 2 and gx is x square, 2x square plus 1. when x lies between root 2 to 1. Now, in this case, you see that from this case, if I subtract 2 from all the sides, I will get x lies between minus 1 to 0. Again, these two intersection has a null value. So, this is the case. This is the only solution we get. So, finally, finally, what we have solved this question and we can now write the simplified value of f of g of x as x square plus 1 when x lies between minus 1 to 1 and it is 2x square plus 1 when x lies between 1 to root 2. So, this is how we got to find what is f of g of x. Now, the second part that is g of f of x. I hope you can solve this, this part yourself. The answer to this part is g of f of x. I will just give the answer. You can try yourself. If you have any doubts, you can post it on our forum. The link to our forum is www.collegeperiod.in slash forum. So, g of f of x is the answer to this part is x plus 1 equals 12 when x lies with 1 minus 2 to 1, it is equal to x plus 3 when x is equal to 1, okay. So, this is how we solve questions on composite functions. This is how we find the domain and range of composite functions. Now, this solution of composite functions, we could have also derived using graphs. Let us see how this can be derived using graphs. Let us say, I am asked to find f of g of x given that f x is this and given that g x is, let us write g x again, g x is, you can write it as x square when x lies between 2, g x is x plus 2 when x lies between 2 to 3, okay, okay. Now, first of all, let me draw the graph of g of. So, let us see, I have to find f of g of x. 
So what I will do is let's draw the graph of g of x first. Okay. Now when x lies between minus one to two, g of x is x square. Till minus one to two, g of x is x squared. Okay, and after that, from two to three, it's x plus two. Okay, this is the how the graph of g of x is defined. Now I'm asked to find what is f of g of x. So f of g of x is what? It will be g x plus one. I just replace x with g x. When g x is less than one, and it is equal to two g x plus one, when g x lies between. Now my question is: We have to get rid of this g x, and we have write it in terms of x. So let's see where g x is less than or equal to one. You can see g x is equal less than or equal to one in this interval. From minus one to one, g x is less than or equal to one. So this is two when g x lies between minus one to one, and then we can replace g x with what the value of g x and g x is x square. This becomes x square plus one when x lies between minus one to one, right? Now g x is two g x plus one, and when x lies between when g x lies between one to two. Gx lies between one to two. In this interval, gx lies between one to two. Okay, gx should lie between gx is this value. So gx just gx lies between one to two. In one to root two, when x is between one to root two, right? So this means x lies between one to root two. Okay, and then I can replace g x with the value of g x that is here again x square so two x square plus one when x lies between one and two. So you see this question becomes simpler when we try to solve this using graphs. Similarly, you can try solving what is g of f of x using the same method of graphs. So this is how we have seen what composite functions are. We'll solve more questions on these composite functions when we move on to the tutorial section of our chapter. Okay. So now, before we move on to the classification of functions, with like on to into one one many one, let's discuss a bit on graphs.